Welcome back to Bleeding Blue, a sit-down podcast with the Exeter's athletes. I'm Adam Cook, the host of this production, as well as a writer, reporter, soccer announcer, and baseball manager at Exeter. Today, I talked with Caleb Newell, a sophomore tennis player at Exeter. Caleb played his first season on the team this spring as the number four in Exeter's lineup. He will likely compete for the top seed on the team as they look to achieve greatness with a plethora of new faces. We talked about his mentality, growth, and more. I hope everyone enjoys the show. Welcome back to Bleeding Blue. I'm joined by Caleb Newell, a tennis player that has joined the sport as a sophomore. He's been my friend for a few years now, and I think he's got an interesting story, so... Glad to have you on. So, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, uh, played your first season this year for tennis as the number four guy on Exeter. Uh, next year, you're probably looking at number two, maybe. Could be uh, you're number looking one. At one. That's the goal. So, uh, what has that been like for you to join tennis like this and hopefully be the number one next year? It's been really fun. I mean, I've been hitting with a lot of really good players. Obviously, our number two this year, Nate Kleinfelter. He's a really good hitting partner. And honestly, goals next year. Want to do something, you know? Obviously, I want to be number one. Yeah. How, how close are you and Nate? And what has it been like? Because you guys are both same class, both kind of moving up together. It's been, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Yeah, we've, we've hit pretty much every day in hitting. And honestly, our goal is just to improve each other. So the team in going in the future will be a lot better. Yeah, and you guys may be competing for that one next year. So does that cause any tension on the team, or is that kind of like a chill thing? It's kind of like, obviously, we both want to be one, and honestly, yeah. it's chill, but neither of us will be mad if the other person gets it. Yeah. Well, with some of your experience prior to starting with the school, or did you really not have much? I have played in the past. Mainly with my dad, but I think I went to a summer program when I was little. But other than that, not much. What made you join the high school team instead of playing golf, which you did freshman year? Honestly, it's because I know more people on the team, tennis team. Hmm. And I got kind of bored with golf, to be honest with you. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and the tennis team, it's like doubled its size this year. Yeah. And you're one of those guys yeah. that like kind of pioneered that like mm-hmm. not necessarily pioneered but like the head try to get as many movement. try to get exactly. as many people as possible so yeah. what has that been like for you and how does it feel to be part of that movement honestly it's been pretty cool we were honestly just trying to grow the team we had one of the biggest teams this year from mm-hmm. what i've seen yeah well it was unfortunate that every not everyone got to play but i had one of the bigger teams it's pretty cool yeah. does that mean something to you to be i mean there's what like 15 guys in the yeah. team your top four yeah i mean Right from the beginning of the season, I wanted to be one of those top guys. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I probably couldn't break top three, but top five was my goal. I wanted to play every game, and that's what I did. Yeah, and uh, there's a lot of sophomore talent, or a lot of like sophomore, junior talent on the team, mm-hmm. but some of the guys making a big impact, uh, Dong Hu and Connor, yeah. um, they're graduating. So can you talk to me? What kind of an impact did they have on the team when they were playing with you this year? They were both really great leaders. They taught me a lot, along with the coaches. They, honestly, they were just like, kind of a fun presence to be around while we were playing. And neither of them really ever got mad at anything I did. But, so, it was just a chill experience overall. I mean, how are some of those guys affecting you how you're playing, and how does tennis work in terms of team dynamics? We all pretty much try to help each other throughout the match, just to have a cheering section, help, like, obviously give each other confidence to play well. Mm -hmm. And that's what everyone was doing with me, with everybody on the team, pretty much. And what are some of those relationships like when you're playing different guys in the county, you know, how are you interacting with the guys you're playing against? Is this a 1v1 thing? 
I try to be friendly with them. Obviously, they're competition. They're re- uh, my goal is to be nice with them. Not everyone does the same back, but it's just sportsmanlike. Yeah. Do you enjoy doing singles or doubles more, do you think? Right now, probably singles. Next year, I'm going to feel it's probably going to be doubles. Is it going to be you and Nate? It's probably going to be me and Nate. That'll That's what fun. I'm excited for. Yeah. That'll be fun. Did you, um, did you play in the uh, county singles tournament? I did, yeah. How'd you do? I got... I lost second round, and in doubles, which was, we did better, mm-hmm. we won round one, and two, and three, actually we went, we got all the way to the semis, and we lost nice. to Wilson, yeah, but, yeah, though that's, that's hard competition, yeah. I mean, they, they won the yeah. county championship, yeah, the one Most... kid's really good, he's a freshman, and nice. they had someone move in from Venezuela this year, huh. he's, he's good. So it was crazy. Did you guys play them in the regular season this year? I hadn't played the freshman. He's the number three on their team. But I had played the other kid, yeah. His Does name's it... Andres. He's, he's a really nice kid. Got it. He's good. Nice. Is it exciting to you because when you're moving up to either the one and two, you're playing a lot higher competition at that rank? Does that excite you? It does. Like, even this season, I played some of the top kids in the counties in doubles with Dom Hill. And that was really fun. Obviously, I wasn't, like, going to compete with them that well, but it was yeah. good to have that experience going into next year when I have to be playing those higher opponents. Yeah. What about your game and your play in particular, do you think, is going to help you succeed against some of those higher opponents? Or just what makes you a good player being worthy of a high seed? Honestly, I just really want to win. I have that drive. I have the motivation to get there hmm. what other I mean kind of aspects of life do you find that you're a competitive guy and that, that yeah. you really want to win in pretty much everything I do not like the losers <laughs> <laughs> yeah I get that I get that um we're gonna do some rapid fire questions uh just name off the stuff off the top of your head right. I'll just say something so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. All right, favorite shoe that you own? Probably my Jordan 1 University Blue. Is that UN, UNC? Or? Same colors, but not like the exact. It's called University Blue. It's yeah. pretty much the same. No <laughs> talk. Uh, favorite class at high school? Probably, can I say study hall? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have that year round? Yeah. Uh, other than that, it's probably strength. Fair. Uh, favorite Kanye album? Probably the college dropout. Changes uh, a lot, though. Fair. Uh, fair team that you've played against in tennis? Hmm. Probably Wilson. They're all really nice. Yeah. Wawa or Sheets? Wawa. Uh, favorite cherry on top flavor? That's a good question. I don't even really have one. Just eat them all, you know? <laughs> uh, if, for anyone listening, Caleb's mom... Is runs the uh, ice cream truck cherry on top, so you probably get a lot around ice cream. I really don't eat. I used to eat a lot. Not anymore. Fair. I eat it when I can. But yeah. Um, do you work uh, with cherry on top a lot, or is that more of an occasional? Very rarely. Um, I had a job at a taco place in West Reading. Oh, I do remember that, and I quit. Uh, last weekend was actually my last week. Mm. Yeah. Are you looking to work anywhere else now? No, nah, not right now. I'm taking a break. <laughs> That's fair. Pretty tired. What other stuff are you? Have you been involved with in the stuff that's filling up your schedule? Honestly, right now, every day I'm playing tennis. Like after school, obviously I can't today because it's raining. But yeah. Every day it's like three or four hours a day. Is that a lot of stuff with the team, or are you doing some it's stuff? Mainly with Nate, and I'm also going to see a couple private coaches this summer. Mm-hmm. It's pretty tough. Have you worked with any private coaches before? Is that I kind have. of a new thing? I have worked with the wiser coach, uh, Ryan. Nar. Nice. Yeah, and he he was a really big help. I worked at him with the in, with him at the beginning of the season, and he really got me where I needed to be to be the four. And what kind of things was he teaching you? Was it more of like a mechanical thing? With yeah, definitely, definitely mechanical thing. He was trying to obviously improve my strokes, the backhand, forehand volleys everything and that was really 
helpful. Yeah. What well, ways has Coach Herman, who's been doing it for what, like a decade, how has he been able to help you and, you know, allow you to be who you are? Right from the beginning, he was helping me. He was trying to do everything he could. We were serving every day. He would hit with me when he could. Same thing with Rob, Coach Rob, mm-hmm. his assistant. Um, yeah, it was pretty much he would do anything he could to help me improve. Like, even now, he still comes out and hits with me. Yeah. And where do you think they became such good leaders? What do you think makes them such good coaches? Well, from what I've heard, Rob has been playing tennis all his life, so he obviously has stuff yeah. down. And Herman, he's a teacher, so he's around kids a lot, and mm-hmm. he has that experience. Like that mentality. Yeah, exactly. Of, yeah. And what's your mentality like? What I know you said you don't like yeah. to lose, and that's a major okay. part of it, but what happens if you are losing, and even if you do lose, how do you come back from that and you know maybe you win the next set or yeah. the next match? I mean, at the end of the day, if I lose the match, it's just a game. Yeah. But during the actual match, I'm not going to give up until until the match is over. Then it's... But, yeah. Did that make you want to make the playoffs more? And how did you feel when Exeter came up a little short? Yeah. I mean, it, it was kind of like, dang, we didn't make it. Obviously, we had some really good competition this year. Yeah, there was a lot of really yeah. good teams. But, I mean, obviously, it did kind of... Didn't feel the greatest, but coming forward my junior and senior year, watch out. You excited? Yeah. Yeah, and Coach Herman hasn't won a, ch- a county chip yep. with the boys yet. The guys, yeah. So do you think that motivates him and you guys a little more with that? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We really want to win, especially me and Nate. We've talked about this a lot. Mm-hmm. If we can't win it next year, I'm telling you, we're going to win it our senior year. And – what are some of those things between you and Nate that make you such a good pairing? Because you're a little more, like, out there, a little more, you know, you, you like to be a little yeah. fun. Yeah. Nate's a little more reserved. He is, he is. So how does that work in terms of, like, dynamics and, like, how you guys are together? We're honestly just improving each other. Like, whenever I get, obviously I get a little frustrated sometimes, and yeah. he'll call me down. And we're just like complete opposites almost. Like our styles are completely different, but they work well together. How are you balancing the work you're putting in with Nate and the coaches and all that stuff with some of the school work you have? Because, I mean, yeah. what, two AP classes and yeah, two right honors now, yeah. classes this year? Yeah. Um, it's, it's difficult, but I get it done. Because mm-hmm. I feel that obviously academics are important. Mm-hmm. And I will keep trying my hardest in those, but there's also other things to do. So I'm yeah. So even if I have to work a little later to get my assignments done, as long as I get the playing time I want to in tennis, it's cool. Yeah. What has it been like to have really hard classes as a sophomore? Has it been like a big jump from freshman year? I mean, yes and no. The amount of work is definitely more. Yeah. But. I mean, it's more challenging, too, but I enjoy it. Like, I like to see where I am. So, no more keystones, kind of. Yep. It. Not not much more, though. Not much more. So, does that excite you? It does. It really does. Because this summer, I'm, like, I have a lot of free time. Obviously, I can put some work in tennis. Mm-hmm. But I can pretty much do anything I want now. Is that, is that relaxing, knowing that yes, you don't have is. that free time? Yeah, because up until, obviously, I just said I quit my job last weekend. Mm-hmm. But up until that, I hadn't had a free day. Every single one of my days were just packed, mm-hmm. scheduled. What other ways are you going to use your time besides playing tennis? Maybe a little some work, but yeah. maybe a new job. I mean, what other things do you think you'll be doing? I was thinking about a new job. Um, obviously, I'm going to go on some vacations this summer. Yeah. But. Do you have any idea where? I, yeah, I'm going to Los Angeles. Oh, I'm nice. excited, yeah. First time? It is, yeah. I haven't been there. It's nice, though. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to California. I have been there. I think San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fun trip. Um, and you're from Newark, right? Right outside of it, yeah. Pretty yeah. much. It's right around there. It's uh, it, Sussex. So what are your, kind of your sports teams that you're rooting for? Is that come from New York? Okay, okay. So I'm a Yankees fan. 
My, people aren't gonna like this. Yeah, you're not gonna like this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have reasoning for each one, though. Okay, so I'm a Yankees fan. I live relatively close yeah, to New York City. Yeah. So that I one makes that. sense. Yeah. My dad is a Cowboys fan, so I, I became a Cowboys fan. <laughs> and honestly, they're kind of different. They're kind of different, but yeah, that's cool. And when I moved here, I was like five. And I hadn't paid any attention to basketball until I got to like 10, and mm-hmm. I was right by Philly, so I just became a Sixers fan. Right. Other than that, much. Yeah, I mean, they're kind of different, but it's... Yeah, but there's is. reason behind it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. How do you feel? Like at least I'm just not a Celtics fan. You know what? That uh, Yankees, Cowboys, Celtics. Oh, I yeah. feel like Lakers goes with that more though. Yeah, I know. I know. But yeah. it does. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about the Cowboys going forward? Um, it's a good question. I don't know, man. <laughs> don't look too happy. Yeah, about it. every every year I get let down. Like this year, I really thought it was good. I was like, okay, it did we look, had, it did look, we, good. it looked promising. We had everything going, and then I don't know. Did they win the NFC East? Yeah, that was did you? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I I didn't know if the Eagles' fall off was that hard. I guess it was. It was. Yeah. It was yeah. Yankees look good though. They do. Yeah. They, they look really good. The MLB's been weird this season. It really it's has. Like, yeah. There's a lot of really, like, decent, very good teams, but there's not one, like, great team. Like, obviously, yeah. the Phillies are the Phillies looking really good. They're very good. And then the Astros. They, they, they're they awful. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about the Sixers leaving? Uh, my opinion. Get rid of Embiid. Build a team around Maxi. Whoa. Yeah, I'm telling you. It'll get rid of Embiid while he's still... Young. I mean, he's not, like, young, young, but he's, like... What makes you think that, like... Because the playoffs... Like he still has value, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, no, yeah. I, I've been wanting to do it for a while, because I feel like he's... We can get a lot of trade value out of him right now. And you think the team's we, not complete? Yeah, I feel like we can pick up a couple young stars here and there that'll definitely help us. And get rid of Tobias Harris. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big... I'm not a big basketball guy, but... Yeah. I've... I've heard stuff. Yeah. But. It's a mess. See, what's I feel what's more random? Being Cowboys fan in PA or Rams fan in PA? I feel like there's a lot of Cowboys fans. Yeah. Because Cowboys fans it's kinda like you really don't hear of Rams fan around here. Because I mean it's like so far away, not only that and not only that, it's like they have really no relation. Cowboys and Eagles are obviously like. I mean, I'm right. Like, I'm one of the yeah. few guys that likes yeah. the Rams around here. I think you're the only one I know that likes the Rams. Mr. Walsh does. Really? Yeah. I know. Year, that. Hey, next year will be fun. To, I have them all year blog. Right. Um, but that's only because I like Cooper Cup. That's not because I have like. Yeah. I couldn't name you like anything about them historically. Yeah. So like, they won the 2000 Super Bowl. Yep. That's, that's all I know. Um. So kind of back on track with some of the personal tennis stuff. Yep. Um, is that something you see you yourself playing in the future, or maybe going to college for that? Definitely. If I play as much as I really want to, I can see myself obviously becoming better and better. Question is how good I could get in that period of time I have because I did start yeah. my sophomore year. Yeah. I did start late, but if I can put in enough time to the sport, I feel like I could be pretty good. What is the scholarship money that colleges give out for that? Is it good? I don't good? really know, to be okay. honest with you. Have you looked at any I colleges yet? not yet. But do you know what you're thinking about doing or anything? Or is it kind of just like, I'm playing tennis now. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. Right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, junior year, what's your workload classes looking like? Uh, any different? Uh, I'm taking... Four or five AP classes. Really? Yeah. What are the Gov, so, Lang, Calc, and I think Mike was third. What was the other one? Ke- uh, chem. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. He, yeah. Nice. Or do you plan on taking all the respective tests for those, or is that like? We'll see. We'll see how we'll see how it goes. Yeah, because dual enrollment is still an option. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a it's a good opportunity. Um. I mean, for people that want to stay in state, is that yeah. do you want to stay in state near here? 
No, I'm, I'm going to go far away. That's fair. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go up the same. So, I I mean, AP scores are probably, I mean, from what I've seen, yeah. probably more valuable. Because, like, yeah. if you can't tell, I know anyone listening can't really see, but I have Syracuse crew neck, socks, and shoes. Um, I don't want to stay here. Yeah. Um, that's just me. Yeah, I understand it. I want to get away. Like, obviously, I've wanted to go to L.A. for so long because I'm yeah. looking at UCLA. You do. I think you can get in. Yeah, it's it's a it's a really nice school. It is. Heard. Yeah, I was looking at um, USC a little bit. USC, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah USC's a good school and good it's athletics good. too. Great athletics, yeah. I mean, yeah. Do you know? Are there any schools that like particularly have a good tennis program, or is it just? Kind I'm of pretty like... sure UCLA does. I'm pretty sure they have a really really good team. That's nice. So, other than that, I don't know. Is there anything you're excited for? that you think is going to be different about the tennis team moving into next year? Yeah, I mean, obviously we lose our two seniors. Mm-hmm. But then next year, I think we only have one senior in our top five. So we're a fairly young team. Is that a... Holland, yeah. Holland, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, it's pretty... I feel like we have some time to Did make that. a push mm-hmm. for counties. What is... Uh... Do you know how Wilson, Weiser, those kind of teams, how they're looking for next year? Are they in- Weiser is looking at the, pretty much the exact same. They're Ooh. they're going to be good. Wilson loses pretty much everybody. Except that, did you say they have that one? They have the, their three, was, this year was a freshman. He's good, he's good. And they have the, Andres, the kid from Venezuela, he's yeah. a sophomore. So he's pretty good too. Nice. Uh, have you? I know a lot of the guys on the team, a lot of the girls on the team, kind of support each other, like the girls and the guys team. Yeah. Have you been to any girls matches, and do you know anyone on that team, or is it kind of just like you're doing your own thing with the guys? Well, obviously, I it came out of nowhere when I joined the team. Yeah, I did not expect to do it, mm-hmm. so I really hadn't gone to any of the matches. But Herman, mm-hmm. Mr. Herman, and uh, Rob asked me to be a manager for the girls team next year. So I'll probably do that with me. Nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. Is that kind of just like book and stuff like that? I don't know. <laughs> I really have no clue. I don't know why. Herman just came up to me and asked me about it. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? It's fair. Because they have practice in the summer. Right? I think it's different for every sport, though. Yeah, it really is. like, I, like, for baseball. I know they, kept, I know they keep scores. I definitely yeah. know they keep scores. For baseball, like, I actually don't keep the scorebook. Really? And I don't help with, like, the physical stuff. I kind of do my own thing, like, with more advanced stats and, like, charts. Oh. But I know, like, some just goal, goal, just, like, normal stats. Yeah. But I know some, the coaches do. So it's, like, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it should we'll be see. fun. Yeah, we'll see. It should be fun. Um, are you, what other clubs have you been doing at the high school? Have you been involved with those at all? I really was last year, and I started the year out, but not right now. That's fair. Not right now. Not at all, really? Or nope. Should rejoin Model UN. <sighs> just, just went into it. I think I could tell after the uh, why I'm missing, like, a little orientation yeah. you weren't interested. And that's fair. It's yeah, not it was, for everyone. Yeah, I thought it was different when I joined. But yeah, so that's like, fine. Pretty much more memorization of... Just random facts. Yeah, the the world quest portion, like the the trivia stuff's a little hard. Yeah. It's hard to get behind that. But I mean, we won the county championship, so I'm you so can't happy. really Yeah. I mean, I think before that we were thinking like, oh, do we want to do this? Like Yeah. But I mean But after that world of the the Wild Missing thing last year. I it just I, wasn't for you. I think I went to like three more meetings last year. Just it happens. It happens. So, do you look to being a leader of the activities you do and the people with the people you're around? Definitely. Obviously, there's sometimes you have to like. There's more exper- experienced people around you, so you have to like let them take hold. But when obviously we're like we're all in the beginning, I feel like I can do it. What are some of those like leadership? Like dynamics, like at Exeter, with the community. How are you able to strive to be a leader at Exeter? There's obviously great influences on me. Like there's the teachers are here are really good. There's a lot of really 
mm-hmm. cool seniors, and just pretty much following what they're doing. Who have some of them been, like the teachers and seniors that have kind of inspired you to be who you are? Um, there's a lot of them that have like obviously Herman because he's my coach. Yeah, but uh, Burkhart was a really good teacher, in my opinion. I feel like he he helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Some of the seniors, there's just a lot. Of, like there's just a lot of seniors that yeah, you know. Yeah. It's a good class. It really is. It's a it's very good class of twenty four. Yeah. We'll we'll miss them, but yeah. What does it mean to you? Because you're a student here, and you're also like you know you're involved. You you're on the tennis team. You've been on the golf team. So what does it mean to you to be an Exeter Eagle and kind of bleed blue? It's really a pride thing. Like I want to represent. You know, again, that's like why I like winning so much because it not only reflects on me but also reflects on the school that I'm a part of so I like to leave a good impression you know how excited are you to transition into being a junior and then you know with the tennis team and just everything you have coming up uh, yeah. junior and senior is obviously important so yeah I'm, I'm pretty excited pretty excited there's a lot of chances to improve yeah. as a person Is there anything else you want to add on today? No, I'm good. All right. Appreciate you coming on. Um, Thank you. Wish you luck uh, next season. But, you know, good year this year. Hopefully even more come. So Hope so. Yeah. Have a good one. You too. Thank you to Caleb for coming on the show. And thanks to everyone for tuning in today. If you want to stay in the loop with Bleeding Blue, check out my website, adamcookjournalism.com. Follow me on all my socials at adamcookjournalism. And hit the follow or subscribe button wherever you're listening. Thank you for supporting local journalism with Bleeding Blue. This is Adam signing off.